This video is best viewed in high definition and full screen. Under the right side of the video player, please click the Change Quality icon and select 720p or 1080p and then the full screen icon. This video describes how to search for and order items from BLDSS. We will start with straightforward examples, but we recommend that you watch the full video as there are hints and tips later on how we may be able to supply material even if you can't find it using the simple search techniques we start with. Log in to the system. To search for an item, enter keywords from the item description. Any part of the bibliographic data can be entered, including very specific data such as an ISSN. The results screen is very like a Google results screen, showing summary information for each item, ranked according to relevance. Information on whether or not an item is held electronically and is therefore available for immediate download is shown against each record. If the item is not held electronically, we will either scan it and supply it from our physical collections or source it from one of our partner suppliers. To view further details of an item, click the title. From this screen you can continue on to order the item, or return to the search results. Because of the way that BLDSS has been built, we recommend that you use the navigation options from within the system, rather than your own browser options for navigation. The ordering process is a four-stage operation. The full details screen is the first page. If this is the item you are interested in, click on the next step check availability prompt to the bottom right of the screen. In step 2 you can check availability of the item and what supply options are available to you. Supply options can be quite complicated and depend on factors such as the agreement you have with BLDSS and the copyright and collection rules we have to apply to them, so options may vary depending on the item selected. What you can be sure of is that you will not be offered options that may breach rules. As you make selections from the options offered, you will see the cost details and dispatch estimate adjust. If you are eligible for library privilege or fair dealing as it's sometimes known, where you can order items copyright free for pure research purposes, then the library privilege tick box will be shown. The tick box will untick itself if you choose options which are not allowed under library privilege, such as two hour processing option. If you intend to use an item for any commercial purpose whatsoever, you should select to pay full copyright by making sure that the library privilege tick box is unticked, regardless of selected delivery options. If ordering under library privilege, you should also complete and sign the appropriate declaration form at your library. If in doubt whether you are eligible for library privilege, or to find out how to take advantage of library privilege, please consult your library before ordering. Where the date available is not today's date, then an item may be on loan and, if you order, you will be placed on a waiting list. The date shown is an estimate of when we expect the item to be available. When encrypted download is selected, a reminder appears to highlight that you will need appropriate software to view the item. Please make sure that you have this software installed and operating before ordering from BLDSS. Make all of your selections, and when you are happy with the dispatch estimate and cost, select Next Step Delivery Details. In Step 3 you can choose a delivery address from those offered from your address book, or where individual item rules allow, you can specify an alternative delivery address. Where the selected delivery format is electronic, the address will be an email address. Where it is for a physical copy or a loan, it will be a postal address. The final step in creating an order is a review of what you have already entered. Check the details including the price, dispatch estimate and delivery address carefully as once the order has been confirmed, you will be committed to the transaction and you will only be able to cancel it up to the time that we start work on it. You can add your own reference which may be useful for tracking purposes. And you can add a note to your administrator if your organisation prefers to mediate orders. Once happy with all of the options, add the item to your basket. You can now add more items to your basket or you can submit the order. 
The BLDSS service has many more items than are searchable in the system. If you are looking for a particular article, first try searching for it. If you cannot find it, try searching for the title. If you find the title, select it from the search results. Fill in the details of the specific article and submit the order as usual. Please give us as accurate information as you can on this screen. The more accurate the information, the more likely it is we will find your item of interest. Check availability will attempt to identify the item, but if it can't, you can still progress the order. Where we hold a title, we generally have the full run, so it's likely that we will still be able to supply. You will pay nothing unless we actually supply the item. If you cannot find the title in our collection, you could try our Find It For Me or Get It For Me services, which are described in other videos. Once you have completed searching for an item in this session and you are ready to commit your order, click on My Basket on the menu. By clicking on the item title you can view full details and amend selected preferences if you wish, otherwise submit the order. Once the items have been ordered you will be taken to a confirmation screen. This screen will confirm that the order has been submitted to BLDSS or for mediated accounts that it has been submitted for approval. If you are paying for the item as a pay-as-you-go customer and you are using your credit or debit card, you will be taken to a card payment facility where you can enter appropriate details. You will be given an order number which is your unique reference to the order. You may wish to take a note of this number, though you will be able to locate it via the easy-to-use order tracking functions which are described in another video. This concludes this section.